what happened there? What happened? Did you hang up on me? No, I didn't hang up on you. No, of course not. I'd never hang up on you. You just you just paused. Your your, your screen what? just went. What, did I have went... a very funny face? No, you were just I was like. like... <laughs> 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 did it freeze on a funny face or was it like it was a? a it's a little bit funny. It was a little bit funny. <laughs> It was cute though. It was cute. The connection just went. I know everyone's on these lives. Everyone. Everyone. Who else? Who else? Who else have you been doing lives with? Oh, who have I been doing? Caroline from Gossip Girl. Oh, yeah. Played my mom on Gossip Girl. I did one with her yesterday and with Jason O'Mara. Huh? Yeah. How is How is Caroline? She's great. Did you Did you meet Caroline when she came to Portland? Yeah, we went, yeah, we went for dinner. Right. Remember? That's right. That's right. I thought you did, but I was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so she she's really good. She's been she has a friend of hers, Catherine Ireland, who um, uh, has a dog has like a couple dogs. So she takes one of her dogs each day and goes for a hike. So mm -hmm. she's been kind of the same, getting out in nature with the doggy That's and nice. doing that, which just it helps. I think it helps so much just to get out and get fresh air, yeah, for sure. And um, so she's been doing that and a lot of cooking. The same thing all of us have been doing. She's got her son and his wife um, in the back, sort of. Uh, they have like she has a, a house and then and the back house is mm. where they live and they just adopted a puppy an adorable oh. adorable puppy it's like an irish setter or something so cute some ver version of that english irish setter. and um so they've been just i mean the videos of this puppy are so cute i can't wait to see this puppy and your puppy and my puppy so yeah so she's good she's been doing a lot of self-taping actually she helped me is with she? one yeah oh, that's fun yeah. Did she, did she come over? I went to her house and she, she wore gloves and it was just, I mean, the whole thing. Was, I, mean, <laughs> I said, we should be making a video of how we're doing this tape because it's just, I mean, what I, was st I still watch the videos from when we did ours in Portland. Oh, it's hilarious. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the funniest self tape I've ever done. It's ever. Just, oh, I, I think I, I just. I <laughs> can't even remember what it was for, but it was, it was just hilarious. Felt like you were doing. You were the one who was auditioning for it. <laughs> that I was so impressed. What? I felt like you were the one who was auditioning for it. Your 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 reading was more impressive than my acting. No, it was not. I was so impressed with your setup and how you had like had this tripod and you had. I was like, yeah. God, this is so professional. You need to, so you need to get a tripod. You need to get, get get a tripod on Amazon. Yeah. Put your. Right. Put your phone in it, and then you can do the lives. It's much easier. Well, that's what I did. I finally I have a tripod now. Oh, good. Which I'm so thankful for because I kept setting it up on these whisker wicker baskets and they kept falling over and the sound yeah, was yeah, funny. Yeah. So I, I got to get a little more up to date now, here. So yeah, big, I got big, one. big question: Are you are you excited? Are you excited for the new Gossip Girl reboot? Yeah, I mean, I haven't, seen, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything about it. The only thing you I know, saw, Eli's in it. That's what I saw. Which is how great. Cra how crazy is that? I love it. I think it's so cool. I mean, it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Well, I, don't, I don't know what I don't know what thing he's doing. I don't know what role he's doing. They didn't yeah, announce I it. I don't think. None of us know anything. All I've all I've heard is that it's sort of a. Um, it's where they find the archive of the original Gossip Girl. So, oh. um, yeah, that's that's what I've heard. But that's, that's it. Fun. So I don't know. And I even said to him, I said, "What you know? What part do you play?" And what? And he goes, "Oh, he goes, I'm not even allowed to say anything." And I said, "Oh, okay." I'm like, "We well, can tell me." I mean, you know. <sighs> God, uh, Eli. Come no. on, Eli. Come on. I was like, come on, dude. Give me dude, a little right. info. Yeah, come on, relax. It's fine. At least tell us. An, an alumni here, you know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well. He's, no, yeah. he wouldn't tell me Fair anything. Enough. That's exciting. Yeah. So Everything, that's... Everything's just dead. I mean, everything's just quiet. Like, everything's just... Yeah. I got, I got told today that things won't... There won't be any new, like shooting of stuff until like 2021 no i'm here in june things are going to kind of i mean why would we in be the, doing the, the if, yeah in the oh, u.s the UK, like, there there in europe and stuff yeah like all of amazon stuff is pushed till january but in the but in the u.s i'm hearing like summer september, oh, september. yeah i was here in june so i was here in june why would they be doing all these self tapes then? I wonder. Look at us. Get, like, getting it, just getting it ready. Yeah. You know, making sure that we're not 
we don't freeze up, you know. <laughs> we haven't lost our stuff in quarantine. Lost it. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I've forgotten how to lost hacked. it. Come on. <laughs> Never knew how to hack in the first place. Doesn't matter. <laughs> what are you drinking? Uh, this is a, my Harry Potter mug glass. Harry just... Potter. Yeah, I love Harry. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Where do you get mm. one of those? Got it for Christmas. Yeah. What what's in it? What were you drinking? Uh just just like tonic water, that's all. Ah, tonic water. Yeah. Ah, because it's got the quinine in it, huh? Yeah. Oh. Is that why you're drinking it? No. I will now. I didn't realize I didn't know that's what I was drinking it in the first place. But I will continue drinking it because of the quinine. But... Supposedly it has a little bit in it, right? It does, it does, yeah. From malaria. Which is good, which they're saying is also good for this, the other thing, which yeah. is interesting. 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 What, are, what, are, what, is, what is everyone saying? You have so many, you have so many adoring fans. I'm like. Matthew, what? no, I haven't talked. Oh, love Harry Potter, of course, Harry Potter. No, I haven't talked to Matthew in a long time. He's kind of off the grid. I don't know. I've reached out to him, but um, I don't know. They, he was living with his wife in Hawaii for a while. And then, um, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't talked to him. So are you married yeah, yet? Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. It all planned out and then this all yeah. happened. You know? Mm. Uh, let's see you all again. Well, Anything you want, haven't done yet and want to do? It's a big question. If the perfectionist comes back, we both do. <laughs> come do you back. think we know these things? Like, as if we know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know, Literally I know. no idea. I haven't, yeah. I haven't spoken to anyone. Yeah. No one. I spoke to Chris a little bit. Chris Mason. Oh yeah, how's who, he doing? Uh, he's good. He's on a he's on a show in New York, which I'm assuming which which got which is stopped. But yeah, what's the show called? Brides. It was called Brides. Yeah, he was doing that. But he seemed he seemed good. Who cooks better? Oh, definitely Graham cooks Who better. Who cooks better? Ooh, I don't know. You definitely cook better. We've never, had, sure. a, we've ne we've never had a cook-off. No, and I don't think we will. I don't think that'll ever. Well, may yeah, no. <laughs> we could think maybe of other things. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, maybe no, I bake I... better. Maybe not cook. Yeah. I'm not Honestly, a big, I, I mean, I'm so simple in my cooking, so I don't know. I just make basic stuff. Wash, what are you right? what are you gonna what, what are you gonna make tonight gosh i you know i've been making my curry rice just with mm. like basmati rice with like some curry powder and stuff in it you know and, and vegetables so peas or i even got organic brussels sprouts of all things people are probably like really gross but i you know anything like help, whatever they have that's fresh at the organic market i get so yeah you know, and then, so I figure it's in season and it's good. So I've just been, you know, asparagus and peas and broccoli and whatever I feel like putting in there. And then all sorts of vegetables are so, I mean, fruits. So I, this morning I had papaya with a little lime, you know, on it. And they say the little seeds are good for your digestion. So I had like a few of the seeds, even though they taste a little weird. But where, they do say you, where, do you, where do you shop? Where you I, go, I usually go to Air One in uh, L.A. Oh, yeah. Um, so Air One is probably the most, it's predominantly organic and, and sort of has the most and beautiful fresh fruits and vegetables. So I go there and then I make the doggies, you know, I cook for the doggies or get them little marrow bones or something so they can yeah. do, do that. Yeah, cook, you know, fresh organic turkey and chicken yeah. and stuff for them. But they and, love that. But yeah, they love, they love it. They love it. Mm. So it's good. So what are you most grateful for right now? Somebody was asking this. That's a good question. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm, you know, I've been thinking, it's really weird. I've been, it gives you, I've been thinking so much about just like the, the, the past, I think, which is not, not always a good thing, but. The past? Yeah. Yeah. You know, cause but I, I was, I was just thinking, like, I'm really, really grateful for, it sounds really cheesy, but, like, just all the, all the kind of the people that have shown me a lot of love in the past, mm -hmm. you know, whether that's, like, whether that's ex-
people or friends or whoever just like yeah. that's 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 what it's all about really isn't it like it's you know if you if if you kind of if you're if you if, if my life ended like tomorrow hypothetically i think that's the thing i'll be most grateful yeah, for yeah yeah you know whether it was like just a day or whatever just like just gen you know just genuine love that you experience from people without them yeah. So I mean that's that I'm like wow that's I'm really blessed in that regard. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And even presently, just like being with 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 my dad or speaking to friends and stuff like that. I mean that's 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 all that really matters really. And that, that's what that's what I'm really really grateful for. Yeah. So Definitely. but you know, and it's like you know like, I'm so grateful for the time that we got to spend together in yeah. Portland and we had such a a lovely mm-hmm. time together and you showed me so much love and. Yeah, you know, so I'm really grateful for that. But yeah, that's a very deep question, but <laughs> yeah. no, it's beautiful because it's true. You know, it's so true when we when we get quiet and think about who we really authentically love and who really authentically loves us. You know, beyond all the whatever, um, yeah. it it is. It sort of becomes really apparent who who's who. Yeah, you know, in your world for the you know good or bad, whatever. Yeah. I think you're absolutely right and what's important and where we really want to be and who we really want to spend time with and what yeah. we want to really spend time doing. I know. Um, it's, all, it's, all, it's all that matters really, isn't it? Like even, mm-hmm. you know, if you talk about the perfectionists or whatever or your experiences on set or whatever, you build, I think I, I build up these things, you know, in terms of, oh, that's huge. Like just being on set and being on a show is massive and that's so cool. And it is, but the reality of what's really nice about it is just those simple moments that you get to spend yeah. with people. Yeah. When you just, you know, you just have like a nice yeah. conversation. That's what it's about, isn't it? Like, and that's a, that's a blessing because you can, you can be in situations whether it's a job or, or whatever, where you actually you're with people you don't actually like like that much, and then you know. Right. Right. But, but to actually be around people that you like and show you love and you, you know mm. such a huge thing i think yeah you know, that's that's what i'm that's what i'm really grateful for it's really made me think about that quite a lot yeah you know but yeah you, yeah 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 there's unexpected things too you know you're right we kind of blow every we make everything so important when really what what is important is our health you know yeah. obviously we're realizing that more and more now just how about how you know healthy, healthy how people then the we people care about that we well. love and being able to get access to good food and water i mean there's so many basic things that i think we I all get caught up in and it's normal i mean look it's it's a normal yeah. thing it's sort of the the pace of our society in which we're just trying to keep up with you know we don't, and, we, don't um, need, we don't need that much really mm-mm. we really mm-mm. don't like i know your food That's... food water shelter then that's it really isn't it like so why do we then why do we kind of why do you think we 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 aren't that way all the time yeah i think it's just i think it's kind of hate to say it but i think a large part of it is social media and kind of the the kind of the world we're we're in we're in constant we're in constant comparison to people i think and that's something i admire about you so much is that you're very good at well you you're just you're 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 so comfortable in your own skin and, mm. and just who you are and maybe that hasn't always been the case but you yeah. are that person you know and but for me personally I'm you know constantly comparing myself to people even if I don't yeah and if I'm not conscious of doing so I think that's it you know and like mm-hmm. you, you're always seeing like what someone else has got or like oh I would really like that or you know, or their circumstances are better than mine. When I wonder where that comes from within us. I think it's, I think it's like, it's quite, a tri- it's, I think it's a tribal thing. You know, if you think back to like when we were cave people, you know, like. We basically are again. <laughs> yeah, we're back, we back to the cave. Are again. Oh. It, it goes back to like survival, doesn't it? If someone's, <sighs> To, to fit in because you know to, you've got to 
to fit into a tribe was to mean was to survive wasn't it you know to right, sort of right. be in a group and I, I think it's it's such a i think it's such a basic animalistic thing that we have within us but so something i really try i'm just trying to do is like just strip all back and just kind of be just comfortable in one's own skin and just no one no one's life is better than anyone else's you know we're all just yeah we're all we're all we're all doing our own thing we're all beautiful in our own way and you know and, yeah it's a good <laughs> thing it's a good thing to take into the future when this does all go back to normal you know sort of make you realize yeah to go within a bit and empower ourselves you know yeah but you're you're you're, you're so good at that you know you just you just no, but it takes time, I think. I think it takes time to sort of be realized because you've compared enough or you've tried to be certain ways that aren't really authentic to yourself. You know, you yeah. try out different things. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Okay, that's how we left calling. I'll call her. Yeah, pause, um, pause again. <laughs> yeah, the you're, you're the, um, you're the funny you... face again. Oh, did I? Did I freeze with that? Yeah, you were. <laughs> 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 but yeah you do, it, does, it takes a while you know it takes a while and you realize there's something so beyond it's just you know you want to feel good and there's no way there's always going to be someone with something different right but that's sort of the beauty of life but there will never ever be another gram ever yeah. in this world so you know it's like There'll never be another anything. So it's really about your being fully expressed as you and trusting that, you know, because it's, I think our society sets it up where it's very disempowering to think that, you know, to, to, it's not that you don't look around and go, oh, that's a great idea. That's a great outfit or that's a, an incredible physique or that's, a, you know, whatever. But to deny ourselves the our the, the pleasure of being ourselves yeah the pleasure of of what you know it's so because it is i mean when you go within it's rich there's so much richness there and now i think when you when i look outside at people plus you realize too nothing is as it seems you know nothing nothing in the news is as it seems nothing on social media as as it seems we're all using a little bit of a filter we're all trying to you know do our best let's yeah. say, or pr present our best. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but it is, it's, it is, it's about just being, just being, and that, you know, you, and, and we're, you know, really, it's like, I can look and see how wonderful you are, right? And, and, and yet, sometimes within ourselves, we can't see how wonderful we are. So it's sort of like, how do we go, how do we go within and see and feel how wonderful we are mm -hmm. just for being, and I don't mean wonderful, like, you know, I mean yeah. the ability to, the fact that we're here, the fact that yeah. you we have this body, the fact that, you know, you have the mind that you do, the fact that you can be creative and, and uniquely you, you know, to, to really, a lot of it is that we judge each other, you know, some of it could be that we're, we're so judgy, you know, instead of sitting and, and talking about what you love about someone and really mm -hmm. acknowledging how gorgeous people are, you know, yeah. how really gorgeous people are, you know, and it's not about, you know, each human has their own beauty. And the more we can focus on that and, and speak it to each other, the better. I, I think it would, it would help shift this sort of thing of, so you know, instead of sitting and judging someone, appreciate someone, appreciate their beauty, appreciate their handsomeness, their, yeah. their kindness, their, what, what they, what they offer, you know, and from children, you know, I think when, when we're kids, if we're not getting that from our parents, because largely our parents are trying to figure themselves out and trying to learn to love themselves. Mm -hmm. So there's no blame there because most of the time our parents are just trying to heal from their parents and yeah. their parents and whatever else, you know, the whole line of ancestors that, you know, were 
were not taught how to love themselves. So along the way, you find people maybe in your family, maybe outside of your family that, that are a reflection of your light, of your beauty, of your, you know, your uniqueness that's so powerful. And unless you were told that growing up, I always, I always say this, but if every child was raised as if they were the Dalai Lama, you know, they would be presenting themselves in the world in a very different way. So if everyone was raised as if they were the bringer of the light on the planet, mm. like you are here to bring in the future. You are here to be the light, to guide us, how, you know, to guide us into the future where we're supposed to go. If each child was raised in that way, which my belief is that things would change very quickly and there's no reason not to raise our children that way because they are here to bring in the future. Yeah. You know, really, our kids are here to, to, they know, they come in knowing what they're here to do. And we need to really, really listen and really honor that. And how different would we interact with each other in the world? You know, so a lot of it's programming. Yeah. It's not, it's programming that we've had or that, you know, we didn't, let's say, get that reflection from our parents because they, yeah. again, they were, or society or whatever. So it's how do we relearn that we, that everyone is perfect. Yeah. Exactly perfect as they are, you know, and exactly where they are. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It's a vulnerable thing, I think, as well, isn't it? Totally. Well, that's part of your beauty, is your vulnerability. Truly. So beautiful. So I, beautiful. I can't. You know what? It's a good thing. I, I appreciate you saying that because I spent, I spent so long, like you saying, programming. I mm. spent so long. I'm, I'm, I'm a very sensitive person. And I can't, I can't hide it. I can't hide it anymore. But I spent so long trying to hide it because I thought, that's what would get me accepted into society but it's probably yeah. it's, it's probably it's a very male thing i think you know to to, to sort of put up, put up these walls and sort of you know be the breadwinner or whatever or you know be be masculine or something like that mm -hmm. but you know the, the programming and like you're saying it just i so long i just try and hide it and and it, it, all it does is manifest it way it manifests its way out of you in sort of very toxic yeah ways but you know it's like sure. that's something i really tried to embrace i think in my only the last few years it's kind of my own vulnerability and my own because it's it's so, have you read there's a book benny brown the the um, the power of vulnerability mm, i haven't read it Sounds it's, re cool. it's it's quite a famous book quite a well-known book but it's it's a, it's a beautiful book and it just talks about the power of vulnerability and stuff this mm, and about so you know, I think when we're vulnerable in front of people, like those nice moments I was talking about before, those those really true moments is when we're, we are able to be vulnerable in front of people. And I think that unconsciously lets other people be vulnerable themselves. You, mm -hmm. know, you know what I mean? Like, like if you let your own light shine through, shine through, like you say, it unconsciously gives other people permission to do the same because it's such, such a brave thing in and of itself to just let all the guards down just be yourself just be be present mm -hmm. in all its ugliness or you yeah. know in all its and like, its beauty its, it's it actually is what's it's beautiful so, it's it beautiful. is where the beauty is it's not in the covering up or no the, it's not no but we think but we think it is mm -hmm. and sometimes it takes it takes years 20 mm -hmm. 30 you know what it takes a lifetime sometimes so yes. you know that's that's everyone's journey isn't it that's kind of the... uh well it's what is so so beautiful about you it really is and it's you know people you know what you realize is it's sexy it's powerful it's um it's radiant it's all those things you know it's it's the opposite we think it's by being all these other ways and or trying to be sexy or trying you know yeah. we're, we're doing all these things and really and i, I think that's a lot too is as you get on with your life you realize it's just not about all those other it's just not about all those other things you're right and you're learning it it's such a good time you know you've come to this at such a beautiful time in your life too because i think as an actor as an artist 
as somebody out there, particularly, you know, in the public like you are too, is to, to be able to express this is so important and, you know, gives, like you said, other people permission. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful. And it, it's super powerful. It's super, super powerful. powerful. Yeah, it's, every, it's, it's everything, really. Yeah. It's really everything. It means everything, you know. Yeah. Those, those true moments that you can have with, with people. And in my experience, they usually those those moments usually come sort of during times of pure crisis. You know what I mean? Like just pure, like when you're at the end of your tether or yeah. whatever. You just get shocked into those moments of like, what the fuck? Like, you know, you just let every, you just let every you're kind of broken open, and you're just like, ah, oh, yeah, this is me. I don't care what you think. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, yeah. But, um, but yeah. Oh, and you, you know, you've taught me. You've taught me a lot about that. You know, oh. so you should uh, oh, give so yourself a pat on the back that oh. you're uh, you're impacting other people and everyone loves you and for a really really wonderful reason. Mm. And I miss you. Know. you. No, I miss you too. We're going to see each other soon. We'll see yeah. each other soon. Hopefully we can work together again soon. So we actually, ha we didn't have a lot to do. We didn't have a lot of scenes. No, we didn't. We didn't, but when they when we did, they were good. They were I know. Right. We've got to do, it'll be so fun to do a project together of some sort. We'll yeah. have to find something. I know. Find something it'll to do. It'll work out. It'll yeah. really work out, you know. Definitely, definitely. If not. If not, we've already we've already we've already stayed in touch and sort of been yeah. so close this long. I mean, yeah. that's kind of, that proves that it's meant to it's meant to be. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope more people, and I honestly, I think people are getting more in touch with what you're talking about now. I mean, even again, like talking to Jason O'Mara yesterday, who was saying mm. the same, you know, similar thing in a different way about. You know, we, we have these roles that we think we have to play, you know, as a man or as a woman or this or that. And it's just like, it's so much to sort of live up to, right? Like as a woman, yeah. you're like, oh, I have to be sexy, but yet I have to be this and I have to be that. And it's just like, at some point you say, you know what, I'm just going to be me. And the right people will align with me who are supposed to be with me. Because if I'm being something I'm not, then I'm going to attract someone who thinks that's who I am. <laughs> it's yeah. not. And eventually you're going to find out that I wear Birkenstocks and, you know, I get lip waxes and, you know, sorry, you're going to, you're going to find out. So you may as well just be like, I'm wearing Birkenstocks now. And I need, <laughs> you know, and this is it. And if this works for you, great. You know, if it doesn't, this is kind of, yeah, I make it dressed up and do all this. So it's really kind of an interesting test of, you know, who shows up when, yeah. You are being you and being just who, and that doesn't mean like, look, I, I may be wearing Birkenstocks this week and next week feeling like I need a pair of like hot, sexy boots and I, that makes me feel good. But it's like all, all the different side, sides of us and being expressed in those ways that are just like, this is who I am. This is how I'm feeling. And to have a reflection of someone to say, cool. I love yeah. all of it. I love the whole situation and however it gets expressed because I love what's inside of you, you know? Yeah. So whether you're in Birkenstocks or you're in hot boots or you're whatever, or you're in this mood or you're in that mood, the essence of you is what I love. Yeah. And that's so cool, right? I mean, Kanye, I'm going to just take this to Kanye right now. Ooh. I was something, he just did this thing. <laughs> just that's you know, risky. Just because we need to. We need yeah. to have a little Kanye moment. Um, it was, it was some article, I don't know if it was GQ or something. I read a, a little bit of it and there was a, a video because I love his architecture. I love what he's doing with his homes and, you know, yeah. all this stuff. And uh, he said in this this interview about Kim, you know, that, like, look, I just love her. You know, I love her whether she's doing a booty thing on her Instagram. I love her when she's being a mom. I love her when she, I love her with no makeup. I love her when she's hot, when she's being... I just, it was so beautiful. In other words, this is who I married. You know, I'm not going to try to change how she chooses to express herself. I think that's a lot of it is this acceptance of ourselves, acceptance of the other person, the ability to say, I have no desire to change anything about you. None. Yeah. And, you know, the important thing is that I focus on 
what needs to be healed in myself mm -hmm. so that I can be a better reflection for you. That's the yeah, real yeah. gift to someone is saying, I don't require you for my happiness. I don't require you for to, to be something for me that I, I need to be for myself. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you don't make me happy, that you don't yeah. bring me joy because yeah. you, you do. But it's not like my, it's, it's reliant upon you. Exactly. Like, right. Yeah. So it's, it's, um, because then you're, you know, then you're, you're, if you're reliant on the other person for happiness, then all you're, you're just a, a, a sap on their, their energy, energy, if you like. But I, that's what I've always thought is that like true love and acceptance or whatever it is. Yeah. I don't, I don't need you. I don't need you, but I yeah. want you. Yeah. I, I want you. I'm okay. I'm okay if you're not here. You know, I'll survive. Like I'm okay within my self, but I like I really want you. <laughs> Do you yes. know what I mean? Like, yes. But that takes that takes a lot of like you know inner. You got you got to work on it yourself before. Yeah. You know, I've been in relationships in the past. You know, where it's it's I didn't think I needed that person, but I did need that person. That's not a good place to be. You know, mm -hmm. sort of. I need you. I need you for my survival. But yeah, just, we've all, I mean, look, we've all, that's what we were sort of taught. Look at all the love songs. Look at how, look at the movies. Look at, you know, we, it's, it's a learning experience to come yeah. home to yourself and say, you know yes. what, no matter who's around, I'm going to find my joy. You know, you, you, yeah. cause you can't be reliant on everyone's moods all the time. Look, if you're in a bad mood, I can't take that personally. I have to say, you know, okay, everyone's allowed to have their moment or vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We're all, yeah. Otherwise we're always at the whims of everyone else and their mood at, in the moment, you know, and everyone's allowed. So yeah. Hey, hey I've been, I've been in bad moods before, you know, and you, never, you, never. On. There've been, never there've been, been more, there have been more than a few where I've been <laughs> impossible, We've impossible never been to speak to. Uh, but you've just, you've just let me be. And then I come and then I come back, you know, it's normal. It's normal. Part of the, it's part of the, the journey, isn't it? Which is the beautiful thing. Yeah. Let each other be and go focus on your own, you know, your own healing and your own finding yourself and finding what makes you happy for sure. For sure. Yeah. Aww. Okay, my darling. I'm, I love I'm, you. You know, that, um, you this is so your good. Father. This is so fun. Is Tell your father happy birthday. I will. I will. And please, can we do this again when yeah. Lily's home? Should we do it? We'll do it next week. Should we? We'll do it like whatever. Once she's home and you're settled and whatever. Yeah, she you comes want. home on Tuesday, so we can do it after that. And uh, oh, it's yeah, to see her. I should, we'll, we'll, I'll, she'll be here. She'll be just on my. Yes, I know. Okay, we're looking forward to that one. Okay, okay. let's All organize right. it. It's okay. so good to see you. I miss you, you and I love too. you so much. I love you so much. And too. Uh, you are a darling. So Aww. Mwah. Have a lovely weekend. Mwah. Love you too. Talk right. to you soon. Okay. Bye, darling.